Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna do spark plugs and air filter on my Busa. USA. All right, this is a fairly easy task and I'll show you how it's done. So I got this, I have the spark plugs in it, the filter, oil filter, and a drain ring. And I got these to support the fuel tank when you lift it up. First, I'm gonna remove the seat. I'm gonna screw on this side, one on the other side. Now I'm gonna remove these two bolts to lift up the fuel tank. Now it's time for these puppies here. So I like to use two of these because if you use one, the tank is gonna to wanna to flex on one side. So this makes it a lot more secure and safer. Especially if you have a lot of fuel, it's gonna make a twist. All right, next off, I'm gonna remove these Phillips screws. There's a whole bunch all around and there's one in the center. Okay, now I'm gonna remove this bracket that holds these cables. And here we go. Take off the cover. Here's the air filter. As you can see, it has some dirt. There's a nice comparison. The new with the old. Now I'm gonna remove three hoses. One is here. If it's a stubborn Madasaka. I like to go like this. That makes it come off easier. Bam. Okay, that's one. I got the other one on this side. So I'm gonna come around. Okay, this one is gonna be much easier if I take it off from the bottom. It's kind of tight in there. So that's two. And then a third one right here. I'm gonna use my little tool again. Okay. Three hoses are off. Okay, next I'm gonna take this off together as one assembly. Cause otherwise you gotta unplug this and this hose. So I'm just gonna pop it off all together. Bam, that's it. I'm gonna remove this air temperature sensor. Okay, now I got this little Allen screw, one here and one on the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the air box. Okay, it is a struggle, but you gotta work it. So, oh, nice. Okay, now I'm gonna remove all the coils. Boom, 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 right there. You just press on the tab here and pull out the connector. I don't know if that's correct or it just happened. Cause these are facing all this a certain way, except that one. So I'm gonna see if I can make it go the other way, unless that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, now I'm gonna give them a little turn and pull. Just like that. Now I like to clean the, the boards here because if there's a dust, dirt, or a piece of chicken, it can fall inside the cylinders. And of course, cover the intakes so nothing falls in there because you don't want a dirt to fly in the intake either. That's gonna be the same result. I don't know if you saw it, but some dust came out flying. So that's good if you clean that. 
Okay, now I'm going to loosen the plugs. All right, I got the plugs out. I had Denso from the factory. You can either use Denso or NGK. These are NGKs. These don't even look that bad. But I reached the mileage, so that's why I'm changing them. So they want you to change them every 7,500 miles. I have like 8,200. These look really in good condition. But I'm gonna change them. That's what they want. That's what I'm gonna do. And for the plugs, they want you to do half a turn. That's it, right here. They'll tell you to install the spark plug, finger tight, and then do half a turn with a wrench. Okay, I'm going to put a little anti-seize. Now if you don't have a magnetic or a rubber in here to hold the spark plug, because what happens is it falls out, as you can see. What I do, I use this. I put it in here, just like that, and then I bend the edge over, kind of like that. So now you put the plug in, and voila, it holds it. Just be careful when you install it, that thing doesn't fall inside. This is something, you know, to get off the island if you're stuck and you don't have the right tool. Okay, now I'm going to do the half a turn. So basically, like from here, you're going to turn this ratchet to there. So that's a half a turn. Okay, now I'm going to install the ignition coils. I like to use a little WD-40 here so it slides in easier. And also, it's a good idea to use some WD-40 in here. It makes it so much easier to pop it in. Okay, now to install the air box, I also like to put a little WD-40 on these. It's gonna make it a lot easier to go on. Finger it a little bit and that's gonna make it nice. Alright, that's in place. Now don't forget to connect all the hoses and the connectors. Okay, I connected everything. And also don't forget the two screws in here that hold the airbox on the injection system. So that's done. I'm going to install the new filter. Next off is the cover. Now to seat the screws, because this is plastic where it threads in, I like to back off the screw until it finds its own spot. So if you back it off... Okay, you saw that? That's where it found... Um, that's its spot right there, the, the thread. So it's gonna go nice and smooth now. Because if you just aren't tightening it, it might uh, cross thread and you're gonna ruin the, the plastic thread. And that's no fun. What I like to do is get all the screws started and then at the end I tighten down all of them. But also, really important, don't forget the center one. And actually the center one is the one I like to do first. So yeah, I like to start from the center. It squishes in the cover like nice and straight. And then I go crisscross. Okay, like I said, this is a plastic thread in here. When you feel it that it gets tight, that's it. Right here. Just a little bit. Yeah, you don't have to like go crazy with this. When it stops, that's it. Because it has a gasket around it anyway, so... That's gonna be sealed off. Now I'm gonna put these cables back and I'm gonna put the bracket back on. Okay, now I'm gonna lower the tank. Time for the seat and we're done. Okay, so the bike is all together. Let's make sure it runs good.
All right, so that came out nice, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.